welcome to Viva Tutor. We're going to do Future today. We already did Near Future, which was I'm going to, and was for things that will happen quite soon. In this case, it'll be I will do something. For the things that will happen quite in the distant future, not soon. For example, I will finish p uh, painting this room, um, or I will go to Europe when I finish college. So, with the regular verbs, it's really easy. We have the infinitive, so to do something, for example, hablar, to talk, comer, to eat, beber, that's an ER as well, vivir, to live, and we're going to finish that with these endings. So, depending on who does the action, I would choose between I, you, he, she, or it, we, you guys, or they. And these are the endings, e, as, a, hemos, eis, an. And almost all of these endings have an accent apart from we, hemos, so that's something to remember. Uh, so I just have to put this all together. For example, cantar is to sing. If I take that infinitive and then I finish it with this, let's say with e, cantare, I'm showing it here, I, will sing. Cantar is to sing, so I will sing. Um, and if I were going to use a verb in future, regular verb in future, in a sentence, I can say, for example, compraremos un sofá. Comprar, also an AR verb, means to buy. Compraremos, hemos is the we form, so we would buy, Un sofa, a sofa. So with the irregular ones, it's pretty much the same. I'm going to use the endings the same way, but I'm not going to use the infinitive as the base. The base is this irregular form that we are already given. So for example, with tener, to have, the irregular form is tendre. So I can say tendre, I will have tendras, you will have tendra, he or she will have tendremos, we will have tendres, you guys will have, and tendran, they will have. Now, I'm showing a grid that you're going to be able to download later. I'm going to link it below in the description box, as always. And in there you have the regular verbs, the endings, examples. You have the regular verb with the regular form. We use the same endings examples as well, and a little note. So, use that for your practice. In that grade, you also have the meanings for each of these irregular verbs. So, let's do just one more example with the irregular ones in a sentence. Decir is to say, it's here. Dir is the irregular form. I'm going to use this and put it together with the you form. So, dirás. You will say, dirás la verdad, you will say the truth. Okay, so now if you want a little practice, as always, I'm showing some translations to Spanish, from Spanish to English that you can do. It will uh, contain some irregular verbs, so use the grid for that. And now I'm using, I'm showing um, some translations vice versa, so from English to Spanish. And as well, those contain some irregular verbs. Okay, so that's everything. If you do that, please leave it below in the comments so I can correct it for you. If you have any question as well, leave it in a comment. I'm happy to, to answer and help. If you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll be here every week with another grammar point in Spanish. Hasta luego. Chao.